Today, we're participating in the 23rd Annual Latino Youth Leadership Conference. It's a day where you have hundreds of high school and middle school Latinos and Latinas come and participate at a full day at Emory. Today, they get to be a college student, which is something so special. I'm sure we all can remember what it felt like to be on a college campus for the first time. They get to be exposed to different speakers, professionals that are also Latinos and Latinas here in the city, positive role models, um, different uh, motivational speakers, different folks that are just being positive role models for them. On top of that, we have college students that are serving as what we like to call mentor guides, meaning folks that have graduated high school maybe one or two years ago coming back and paying it forward to the community that they're from, that are exposing them to not only the campus, but to their own experiences, letting them know that going to college is absolutely a possibility. The LEA has a special place in my heart because back in middle school they had a summer program, which now I get the opportunity to host but they used to do dancing, but also math classes and language arts. And it's special to me because it's a full circle moment. And I get to have them all the time when I work at the LAA. I get to go back to where I graduated high school from and speak to these students about higher education, something that I wish I could have had at that time. So really, I, I think the LAA, I think the institution that has existed now celebrating its 50th anniversary. It's an absolute staple in this community and it's, it's amazing. Well, first of all, my part on the band is I'm going to be doing an activity, like kind of a hackathon with the students, also sharing a little bit about my background. But why it's important is because I see the high school students and I see myself. Like I have been there and even right now that I was sitting there when I listened to the speakers, it reminded me of my background, my struggles. So how I was there sitting, I see them. And if I can make it, they can make it too, right? They are the future, and I hope that the talks and the events that we do and the hackathons that we do is like motivate the students to go to the university and make a change. So this is why it's important, because I believe it's a point where they can be able to move forward and take a decision for their life and their future. I feel proud of myself because I came to the United States five years ago not knowing English and just not knowing about, you know, college or university. So right now I feel proud of myself of all the progress that I've done through high school and all the activities that I have, that I have organized with the LAA and other clubs at my school. So applying to college as a Latina makes me proud because I want to seek higher education and I want to help my community. My high school experience and being 15, going back to the LAA for a summer program where we have dance uh, classes, they had leadership programs, and they also had an internship. So in the US, that was my first experience in an office setting because um, even though my mom had a corporate job in Peru, um, coming here she had to start from zero and really just had more of um, labor intensive work, uh, housekeeping. Uh, you know, a grocery stores, uh, doing inventory. So the LA gave me the opportunity to be in an office throughout the summer. Um, the first year I helped at a bank. I was an intern there. It just made me feel really valuable because a lot of, I was the only bilingual person there. So even though I was like 16, they were using me very often because they needed my skills to communicate with the community. Eh, siempre pensé de que mi hijo tenía muchas cosas que dar a la humanidad y yo sé que son cosas que él le nacen de su corazón servirle a la comunidad hispana lo importante de él que habla los dos idiomas porque desde jovencito desde que estaba en creo en la en la Miri School yo lo llevaba a las clases de verano a entretenerlo según yo pero nunca me imaginé que eso iba a impactar en la vida de Luis y, y mira eh, se está cosechando cosas grandes en, para los jóvenes
And if you're the oldest in your family, understand that that is a leadership role. Cuando entiendes de dónde vienes, sabes para dónde vas. Is I want you to dream big. Be audacious. Don't be afraid to dream. You're in the United States. This is a land of opportunity. This is where dreams come true. Dream big. Dream big.